Hello, welcome back to my workshop. Don't forget to hit the like folks. Right, so in this video I'm just going to cover using the washing using washing machine motors. Two sorts of motors come in washing machines. Um, one is a pancake motor. This is not a pancake motor. Um, this is your standard washing machine motor and if you have a look around it the first thing you'll notice is we have the two armature windings there we have uh, so yeah, two windings for the commutator that go to the armature. We have this thing here, which is a taco. Two wires going there. And if you trace the wires, you can see that on the connector, you can see there's two for the taco. Generally, you have seven. The two armature ones go in the bottom, and those three there are field coils. Now this currently set to ohms and if I zero that out you can see it zeroes out something like 2.6 ohms so if I go and measure up here you get about 94 ohms measure there so that's probably a couple of ohms or an ohm measure across the whole lot you get another ohm and that will split it in the middle and then there is no connection to either of these two because these two that's the armature and the way let me just show you a diagram I drew earlier so that is what you have generally speaking seven connections two for the taco field coil and armature and the way you can wire this thing up is simply Bridge that there, and then put your mains across there. And that's what we're going to do. So what we have, we have a bridging connector, which we're going to shove on that one there. Let's try and get that over correctly, like that. We can then unplug that for the minute. Connect that from top of the coil there, neutral down to there, connect that to there, to the earth. Now, what we can also do, because we can feed that out a bit, is we can stick on clamp meter, switch it to AC and put a pair of gloves on for this. And if you watch, or at least I will do in a sec, grab that pair of gloves. If you, you just see if I can maneuver that. Hold on, they just There we go, that'll do. Right, so if I switch that on now, I'm just going to wear these gloves so I can stop the motor spinning off. See? No. Hold on. That just span out. Let me put that down like that. Try that again. Right. There we go. You can see, should be able to see that. Right, when this mo these motors start up, they spin very hard. Okay, so when you start this up. Try that again. Right, and we'll load it. Yeah. 
you can see the count goes up, but if I don't load it... It will spin faster and faster and faster. So it does beg the question, can you control these? The answer to that question is yes. What I've done is I went off and looked up circuit diagrams for motor controllers. Straightforward, basic ones. Found a few, but in my search for components, what I found was you can buy, for a tenner, you can buy five of these from Amazon. I'll put a link to those below. And what that is is a standard triac. I've wired that up, earths across there, so that we can connect this to the motor. So we'll connect that up the same way. There we go. Plug that in. Now that is obviously potentially live, so you want to put that in an enclosure. Let me just zoom that out a bit more. There we go. But for the moment, for demonstration purposes, this will work. That's turned off. It's just kicked off a little. Start it. That's running very slowly. That will stop, but we can up the amount of power. What we can do, that clamp meter back on. I reckon that's running at five, half an amp. And there you can control a universal motor. Albeit, what I'll be applying this to first is a smaller one because I can attach that to something. Right, so washing machine motors, little motor control circuits, all very straightforward, can be quite useful. Um, these do need a little bit of control because otherwise I'll be trying to dump all their output. And uh, gloves a bit hot, that pulley's a bit hot. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, please share, please subscribe.